was a time in Ireland's Isle when poets were renowned for writing lots and lots of poetry and stuff that sounded grand. They hammered out the words with patience on the paper that was scarce and went easy on the ink as well to avoid a big disgrace. With a chieftain of the clan with him you wouldn't want to fight, he being environmentally conscious of the like. The amount of paper they would use that put him on a spot, he decreed they'd have to leave the hitch. And replace it with the dot. Long live the push Poets did what they were told and started making dots Over all the many consonants there appeared now many spots The abundance of the letter H went into steep recline And the amount of ink that they would use now started to decline The idea cut on and soon it landed in Bunratty And the bullshit they were using even up in Gladamati For the bucket of case and for the tish again the dock The bullshit would be used as well in the woods of Glendalough Long live the poo Centuries of history, the poets and the bards were using dots galore for one to see. In the proclamation of independence of 1916, the Bulge made it to the GPO and from the fire was redeemed. No doubt it made its last appearance in a manuscript after hours of many contemplation whiskies that were sipped. The Bulge made it to the place and then they wouldn't set it safe. They said they had to write and live it off and instead use a H. Long live the Bulge! Yeah!